Hi, what are you doing? Hi, YouTube! I'm Rob, and this is my son, Odin! And we are... And today we are going to be making my special recipe for... Pasta! I mean meatballs! That's it, meatballs. Down in the corner here you will see that we have our meat, our... Do you remember this stuff? Breadcrumb, our garlic powder, oregano, basil, and our thyme. All that stuff is in there already. So... We need an egg. Granny Kitchen, do we have an egg? <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, we're just going to add our egg now. Uh, we'll do it because we don't want to get shells in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to throw this away. It's a crock dead. Thank you, Crazy Chicken. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, crazy chicken. So, uh, we're going to match this up by hand, and then you're going to ask why we haven't added the cheese yet, and what's the cheese for. We like to stuff the center of our meatballs with just a little bit of cheese. Do you want to help me mix this up with your hands? Go ahead, dive in there. Now, the recipe called for a quarter cup of breadcrumb. But sometimes you need to add just a little bit more just to get the consistency right. So we'll mix this up and we will see how much more we Can need I to see add, your if hands? any. I see your hand. Ew. Well, it's not that bad. And just keep mixing until everything is mixed throughout and. And it doesn't really stick to your hands, nice. and you can wad nice. it up and make it good. See how there's like a little patch of uh, breadcrumb right there? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take that and break it up and mush it throughout. You wanna pick that piece up and mush it around for me? Just grab it. <laughs> there, your hands are dirty now. Come on, don't touch anything. You got meat hands now. Pick it up and mix it. Mush it around. It's like playing with Play-Doh. <laughs> and guys, see our hands? They're not really, not that dirty. No. And we're going to definitely wash them when we're done though, right? Yeah. But we can't touch anything. Hey, we got meat hands. Yeah. <laughs> meat hands. It sounds like a bad guy, right? Hey, I'm <laughs> meat hands. Don't put it near my face. So once everything is mixed throughout. Yeah. Can I see this? Yeah, mix it up. Yeah. Just go ahead and break a small piece off of it and make whatever size meatball you like. I'm gonna make it huge. Well, let's not make one too huge because we only made a small pot of sauce just for tonight. <laughs> That's pretty big. And once you get it about the size you want it to be, uh, to get the cheese in, just push your thumb in the middle and it'll make a little pocket like that. Take some of your cheese place it right in the center and then just push down and bring the meat around the side of it and just squish it back together. That's too much cheese for that size meatball <laughs> there, monster. <laughs> See how it, No, you can't put that in there. And there you go. And then we're just going to add it to our pot of sauce over here. I'll put them in the, in the pot for you because it's hot, okay? So look, you, you almost got it. Look, once the cheese is in there, push down, right? And then roll it. See that? And then now the cheese is on the inside. See that? Are you making little ones for you and your sister? Okay, now push the cheese down and in. Push it in. There you go. Now bring the ball. There you Look at that. Pretty good. 
and just continue doing that for the rest of them. Some people will put these in a pan and brown them first. Uh, you can do that if you like. We do do that sometimes as well. If you cook it this way, the meat comes out nice and tender and we just like to change it up sometimes. Just a little bit more, not too much. That's good. A little more than that. Go for it. That's good. Drop it in. Drop. Stop shaking it. <laughs> okay. And now you're just gonna want to keep stirring your sauce so it doesn't burn, and let those meatballs cook. It's even in here. Mm, you got cheese everywhere, huh? Even there. If you need a sauce recipe, you can find one in our second episode, mm -hmm. Chicken Parmesan. Or uh, you can just use something from the store that you bought. That's fine too. Uh, tonight we're using something that was bought from the store just because it's a quick, quick meal night, right? YouTube, so here it is, fresh out of the pot. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> And we're going to cut it open and give it a taste. Do a tiny, tiny, little, tiny, little, so much tiny. So a super small so, piece for so you? So like that big. That big? Mm -hmm. Alright, here. Do you want a little bit of piece of cheese on it? That's cheese? Mm-hmm. That looks weird. It's melted cheese. I'm going to try it. You completely dropped it and completely missed. Here. Alright, where was the meatball? Like, oh. mm -hmm. Wait there. I really want to Only one thumb? I give this two thumbs up. You give it two thumbs now? It's late, but it's time for our... <laughs> so this is going to be a quick preview to next week's episode where we make garlic bread, but a good kitchen tip is to take the meatball and put it on your garlic bread. Do you want to try that real quick? You don't want to try that? I do. Let's try it real quick. And tune in next week to see how it turns out. That's two thumbs from me. You went from one to two. You're still at two. So you like it? Meatballs are always a home run. Uh, you can't go wrong with them. They also depend on the sauce that you put them in. Uh, but if you have a good base to start, having a great sauce and a great meatball makes a great meal. So, if you haven't done so already, if you look right down over here, you will see the subscribe button. Go ahead and click that and join our channel and we can keep getting more videos to you as long as everybody keeps subscribing as they are and helping our channel grow. We just want to take a second and say thank you to you guys, the viewers. Our channel just passed how many views? 20, I think. I think. Just 20? more like 1,000. We've gotten 1,000 views. 1,000 views. So help us keep growing and we'll keep these videos coming to you guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Does this look like a subscribe button? What does it look like? Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Check us out on these social media platforms to get copies of our recipes and 
Until next time, remember, cooking in the kitchen is supposed to be fun. And it's fun because you get to be creative. I like that. So until next time, guys, keep cooking in the kitchen and have fun. We'll see you then. You're Bye. Over there. That's what I just said. Oh, great. We're playing copycat. 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 Let's make one big monster meat like a monster meatball. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here, you do it. I'll make one small one. Okay. Small buddy. Oh, you're not a small baby. That way. There's a lot of uh, talk for a meatball. Alright buddy, it's ready. Try this?